Okay, so today we're going to do intervals of 45 seconds of work, 15 seconds of recovery, four rounds of the same exercise. I actually call these probatas after Tabatas, but they're Bronzy's versions of Tabatas. So um, it's 45 seconds of intense hard work, 15 seconds of recovery. The recovery is really important to get your heart rate down and um, recover, shake out the muscles so that you're ready to go for another 45 seconds. We're going to do a power strength exercise paired then with a just solid strength. And we'll do um, each section can sort of stand by itself or you can do the whole exercise. Okay, so the equipment that you'll need today is a set of five pound weights and you'll also want a riser, something that you can do some step ups onto. So um, a stair, you can do it on a stair or a very sturdy chair, a trunk. Um, something that is anywhere from 6 to 18 inches off the ground. So I'm going to set up and we'll get started. Alright, so our first exercise is going to be a power step up. What I want you to do is once you have your riser or your step in front of you, I want you to jump into the air, switch legs and come on down. You want to get real low and real high. So some of the things that I see when people aren't doing them correctly is they're just going like this. I want you to use that bench, push through the entire foot, get full extension in both legs. So you're reaching all the way up, come all the way down. Very important. You want your toe pointed, your knee pointed, your knee extended as well as your hip. So in case you don't have a bench or a step or a riser, then here's a modification you can do. Without the bench, you're going to do a split lunge, split stance lunge. So you'll be in a lunge position, body's upright, you're going to jump up and switch. Squeeze it up and you just jump up and up. You do that for 45 seconds along with while I'm doing the, it on the riser and you'll get a great workout. We're going to go hard for 45 seconds. We'll take 15 second rest and we'll do that four times. Ready? And go. Five, four, three, two, one. And begin. Exhale when you push up. You want to try and land light. Reach up, hold the tummy in. Exhale. Push it up. Got 15 seconds left. Five seconds. And recover. Shake out the muscles. Grab water. Do what you need to do to recover. All right. Second round. Really press up. Exhale up. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one. Rest. Rest. Shake it out. Get the heart rate down. A good way to get the heart rate down is to breathe deeply in through the nose, exhale through the mouth. All right, round three. Press it up. Thirty seconds. We've got twenty seconds. Ten seconds. Four. 
four. Then recover. Rest. One more to go. So important to get your heart rate down. All right, last round right here. Reach up. Press it up. Jump up. Squat low. Twenty-five seconds to go. Get it low. Extend that leg when you come off the bench. Fifteen. Five seconds. All right, great job. Recover for fifteen. Get ready for the next one. You need. A mat, if you want one, and five pound dumbbell. All right, so we're going to do side iso ab with lat pull. So on your mat or on the floor, I want you on your elbow. You want your elbow directly underneath your shoulder. You're going to lift up. You're going to grab the five pound weight in the upper arm, and you're going to rainbow it out, squeezing the lat together. If this is too hard for you to lift off the ground, you can modify it by bending the bottom leg, straighten the top leg, lift the hip up, still doing the same thing. You're working your obliques and your lats so that you're going to squeeze those shoulder blades together. All right, ready? In Start position. In four, three, two, one, let's go. Exhale when you lift it up. And pull. We're going to switch sides each time. So really squeeze. Lift, exhale, <clears throat> 20 seconds. Fifteen. Ten, seven, five, three, and one. Good job, come down. Switch sides, get set up, take that recovery time, make sure your heart rate's down, and we're going in three, two, one, lift up, and pull back, squeeze, rainbow it out, lift it up, exhale, feel it in the back. You can also do this with lighter weight. You can do it without any weight and create your own resistance. Squeeze the lats together. You've got 15 seconds left here. Exhale up. Five seconds. And rest. Good job. Rest. Hopefully you're feeling this in your obliques and in your upper back. Alright, going to the first side, the side we started with. Get ready to go in three, two, one, lift up and pull back. Twenty. Fifteen. Ten. Five. And rest. Good job. One more round. Get in position. All right, going in three, two, one, lift up, pull back, exhale. Very 
reach up. 30 seconds. Twenty. Just draw that navel in, suck the belly in. Ten seconds left. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good job. All right, shake it out. Get ready for the next one. We're going to do power strength again. You're going to do squat jumps to squat and hold. All right, next up, let's get working on our squat jumps to squat and hold. We're going to do 45 seconds of squat jumps. During our recovery, we're going to hold it for 15 seconds. All right, ready? And just going in five, four, three, two, one. Squat, lift up. Jump, push off the ground. Squat. Squeeze the butt. Make sure that your knees are not going over the toes. Preferably right over the ankles. Push the butt out when you jump up. Left. Extend those toes. Exhale. When you push off the ground. You got 20 seconds. 15 seconds. 10. Five, your quad should be burning, squat and hold. Try to transfer that burning from the quad over to the glute by sticking that tush out, squeezing the glutes. Three, two, one. All right, squat jumps. Press off the ground, push up. Fifteen seconds into it, right here we got thirty left to go. Really squat low. Fifteen. Ten. Five seconds. Three. Two, one, shake it out if you need to. And then come in the squat and hold. Deep breaths in. Exhale through the mouth. All right, ready? And let's go, round three. Press it up. And low. Five seconds. Last round squat jumps. Here we go. Press off the ground. Fifteen seconds. You got it. Thirteen, twelve, eleven, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Great job. 
check out the legs. All right, so grab your five pound weight. We're gonna go ahead and do V up. So what you're, the way this looks is you're going to be laying on, flat on the ground. You're gonna lift up and then extend your arms over your head, your feet extend. You wanna go as low as you can without your lower back coming off the ground. If that means you're going to here before your lower back arches, that's fine, come to here. The extension with the arms is gonna help work those lower abs too. So you're gonna keep your um, back on the ground and your head will come up just when you lift up. All right, ready? Starting session. Hand, feet up, hands up, and let's go. Lift, extend, lift, and extend. Exhale, lift up, extend. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. And rest, bring the knees into you. Get ready for round two. trying to work the lower abs as well as the upper abs. Watch the lower back. Draw the navel inward. All right, you've got five seconds. Bring Rest. the knees in. Rest for 15 seconds. We've got two more rounds. All right. Halfway there. Lift up. Extend. Press the lower back. We've got 25 seconds to go. Ten seconds. It's not about rushing through this exercise. It's not about how many you can do. You want to make sure that you keep the form. And rest. Rest. You got one more round. It's really important to keep your form nice and strong. If you notice that your lower back is coming off the ground, bring your feet up. Don't bring them down quite so high. All right, we've got one more. Ready? And let's go. Last 45 seconds here. Exhale. Twenty seconds left. All right, you got ten seconds. Three seconds, two, and one. Good job. Hug those knees in. We're gonna use the riser again. So we're gonna do box jumps next. So get that equipment ready. Okay, so up next, we got box jumps. I have six risers on here, which makes this about 16 inches tall. You can go as high as 18 inches if you want. Um, you can go lower. Uh, you can do, just do one or two risers. If you've got a little step that you want to jump onto, that's fine. The most important thing is form here. So what you're going to do is you're going to have your feet a little bit farther than shoulder width apart. 
you're going to try to over jump a step, land lightly. The way you do that is by contracting the abs, squeezing the glutes. It's so important to land as light as you can. So what we're going to do is jump up, step down. If you want to jump up, jump down, you can do that. Um, just make sure that you have a lot of control so that you don't get any injuries. If you don't have a riser, you can go ahead and just go and do regular forward jumps, squat, and step back. Forward jump, squat back. All right, so this is what the box jump will look like. You're going to jump up, land light, and down. All right, ready? We're going in five, four, three, two, one. Let's go. Lift up. Squat low when you land. Very light landing. Exhale on the up. Great job. Keep it going. Got 15 more seconds here. 10. Good job. All right, rest. 15 rest. second rest. Grab water. All right, we're going to five. Alright, let's do it. Jump up, step down, come on up. You got to do a, a height that you're comfortable with. The worst thing would be to do a higher, higher height than you're comfortable with and then miss it. Draw the navel inward. 15 seconds left. You have 10 seconds left. Squeeze the glutes. Three, two, one, and rest. 15 second recovery. All right, this is your recovery. So you need to do what you need to do. You gotta get that heart rate down. Ready? Let's go. Round three. Five seconds. All right, rest. You got one last rest here. We're going in five. And let's go. Last 45 seconds of box jumps. Exhale. And down. Lift it up. Really focus. 15 seconds. Five seconds. Last one. All right, great job. Shake it out there, water. Grab your five pound dumbbells and your mat. All right, so we've got one more exercise, and we're going to do pelvic tilt with straight leg raise and tricep extension. So you're going to be working your glutes, you're going to be working your core because your body's holding you steady, and you're going to be working your triceps, um, the back of your arms. So the exercise looks like this. Your arms up straight, bring one leg up in the air, 
Raise the pelvic, pelvic. You're not just lifting it up in the air. You're actually tilting the pelvic. So you're, it's a couple inches off the ground. You're going to bring the dumbbells and the leg down at the same time. So the dumbbells will just hit your ears. I want your upper arm nice and steady. You're just bending at the elbow. All right, you can also make this a little bit more challenging by putting your leg on a, an, an unstable surface. So if you have a BOSU, you can do that. You can put your leg on a pillow. I'm going to use a balance pod to put underneath my foot. Um, and that will just help your core a little bit more. It's gonna, you're going to feel it a little bit more in your glute and your hamstring as well. All right, we'll do one leg, then we'll switch to the other leg and go back then to the first side. All right, going in five, four, three, two, one. Lift that pelvic, bring the leg down and up. Bring it down, exhale up. Really squeeze the glutes. You're going to feel this in the stationary leg. Exhale up. Hold that tummy tight. Fifteen seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. And switch legs. All right. We're going in eight, five, and tilt the pelvic up, arms straight up, leg up, bring them both down at the same time. And then exhale when you press up. One five seconds to go. Ten, eight, five seconds. And rest, bring it in, you're going back to the first leg. All right, we're going in five, three, one. Tilt it up, lift the leg up, arms up, down and up. Really squeeze that glute. You don't want to bring the straight leg too high up. You don't want to feel the extension in that hamstring muscle or the back of the leg. Just lift. Suck the belly in. 15 seconds. 10, 3, 2, 1, press, other side, last one, all right, we're going in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, lift up, tilt up, bring it down and up, exhale up, down, Exhale up. Good job. Nine seconds. Twelve. Focus. Four, two, one, and rest. Bring the knees in. And now bring it up. You can stretch out your tricep by bringing your arm behind your head. Open up the hips. Stopping session. Gently lean forward. Make sure you're holding each stretch 20 to 30 seconds. 
make sure you do it on both sides. But great workout, it's about 25 minutes, and you got a total, total body workout.